praise God. Today is another day that the Lord has made. And I don't know about you all, but I'm glad about it. Well, y'all, listen, we are out here at 6906 Henderson Avenue at the First Baptist Church of Cedar Grove. We're in the parking lot, amen, giving God some praise, hallelujah. And I don't know what you come to do wherever you're watching this morning. You may be in your home, in your living room, with your family and friends, but I want to tell you that today is a good day, my God. Today is a day, amen, that the Lord has made. Is there anybody today got anything to be grateful for? We are grateful to God for doing what he has done, amen. And this morning we come to give him some praise. We come to let go and let God. Come on, he come, my God. I said we come to let go and let God. And we thank God this morning for waking us up, thank you for starting us on another day's journey. And I don't, I'm excited. We want the neighborhood to know he's good. We want our community to know he's good. We want the world to know that God is good. My God. So I tell you what, this morning, y'all, we're going to have a great time in Jesus' name. Listen, we're getting ready to go and praise God our music ministry. Listen, go ahead tell somebody, go ahead and share, go ahead and start your wife's party, go ahead and amen, let them know that something amazing is getting ready to happen in your life this morning, I'm telling y'all, I'm this, I'm prophetic this morning, something is amazing getting ready to happen to you this morning, so step in to praise God like we never praised God before, hallelujah, amen. Come on, 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 come on,
the name of Jesus. My God, my God, thank you, music management. Thank those of you that are watching wherever you may be across this land, across this country. Thank you. Thank you for all of those that are parked. Amen. On this parking lot. Amen. Who have came out to give God some praise. I don't know about you. Amen. But God is worthy. Hallelujah. I said the Lord is worthy. Hallelujah. Amen. And we come this morning. Amen. To give God the praise. We come. Amen. To magnify his name. Amen. How many need a word this morning? My God. I tell you what. You're in the right place. Wherever you may be. Amen. Whether you're here, there, anywhere, you're at the right place. Amen. That's a scripture in the book of James. James, the first chapter. Amen. If you have your Bibles, you have the iPhone, whatever you have. James, the first chapter. Very familiar passage of scripture. Amen. This morning, I want to bless you because it blessed me. It blessed my soul. Amen. James, the first chapter. Amen. The second, third, and the fourth verse. Watch what he's saying. Amen. He said, my brothering, count it all joy. Okay, y'all ain't saying nothing this morning. I said, he said, brothering, count it all joy. When you fall into various, various tri trials. Watch what he said. Knowing that the testing of your faith produce patience. But then watch verse 4. But let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Hallelujah. Look what James said. He charged us. He said, count it all joy. I want to talk about this morning, praising under pressure. Amen. Praising God under pressure. Amen. I want to say this morning, my sisters and brothers, that, that, that God charges each of us with the responsibility to conduct ourselves through time of changes and crisis. Crisis is generally the reason behind feeling like wanting to give up and throw in the towel. Can I get some help, y'all? And I come this morning to tell somebody that's watching, to even share with many of you that are watching from this parking lot that it's too soon to quit. And, and, and here, here it is, sister and brother, crisis is, is a natural result of change. And, and, and could it be that God have allowed such crisis to come into this season because he is commanding that we change? Yeah. And, and the world we live in, sister and brother, is in a constant state of changing. People, lives have been altered. Businesses have been altered. History, God help me, have, have been altered. Families have been altered. And it has caused a lot of pressure. It has caused a lot of stress. But here it is, so that it has not only caused uh, uh, pressure and stress, but emotionally, God help me. It, it have caused some mental and even physical pressure. But this morning, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I got some good news. God is not through blessing you. Come on, somebody. And I just need somebody this morning, amen, to know that God, you decreeing and you're declaring this morning that you know without a shadow of doubt that God is not through blessing you. And here it is, sister, but I, I want you to understand this morning that, that, that don't postpone your joy. <laughs> don't put your joy on hold. Don't put your praise on hold because of the pressure. Because, amen, I want to tell you, keep praising him. Keep thanking him because God got a way. Y'all ain't going to help me anymore. He's getting ready to make a way out of no way. And a certain amount of pressure, listen, sister and brother, a certain amount of pressure is needed, amen, in our lives. 
a certain amount of pressure is needed uh, to fine tune a good talk, to, 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 to tune up a piano. <laughs> to, to, to tune up business, even to tune up our life. Could it be that God have allowed pressure to tune us up? Come on, sir. And, and if you ever worked out, you understand that fitness requires some stress. And could it be that God is allowing pressure to be applied to our life just to get us to praise him under pressure? And I want to say to your sister and brother, amen, this morning, hallelujah. I want to say that I believe that he's bringing us into a season of release and a season of increase. Okay, but in order for us to get that season, you got to praise God. You got to praise God under pressure. I know it's hard. I know it's rough. Y'all are going to help me. I know it's tough. Come on. But you got to still give God some praise. And sisters and brothers, amen, it's time for us to use what we have. <laughs> it's time for us to use what we got. Come on. It's time for us. Where you saying, Bishop, what we have. We got to praise. It's time, and I say all the time, y'all listen this morning, I say all the time that praise is not something God gives you. Okay, y'all ain't going to hear. Praise is something you give God. And I just want to ask this morning, anybody going to give him a praise this morning? Is anybody grateful that he woke you up this morning? Anybody grateful he started you on another day? Big Mama and them said, if it had not been, God help me, for the Lord on my side. And here it is, sisters and brothers, to be a praiser. And I don't, listen, y'all, y'all listen good this morning. To, to, to be a praiser is to be, is to become uh, someone who refused to live in a low state of isolation. Uh, 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 Psalm 34 and 1 says, I will bless the Lord. Y'all ain't helping me here. At all times. And his praise shall continue to be in my mouth. This morning, y'all, the reason we are out here this morning, the reason I'm preaching on the back of a pickup truck is because my praise is different now. Okay, y'all ain't saying that. The reason we are parked in cars, got on masks, come on, drove up this morning just to sit in your car in the parking lot, y'all ain't gonna help because your praise is different. I, I hear you saying, what's different about my praise? Well, we have a surviving praise. Come on, come on. We have a surviving praise. Is there anybody this morning got a praise that you thank God for surviving? The reason you're watching, the reason you're here this morning is because you survive. Somebody said, thank God for surviving. Thank God. Come on. Somebody said, I got a surviving praise. Come on. I could have, would have, should have. Come on, Sister Clement. But God. But God and, and, and watch this sister and brother. Watch the word of God. The Bible says that that and that we ought to use the word. Watch this. When I looked at that word, when I looked at the word where David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. And I looked at the word always signify that that should never be a moment when we the creation of God is not in a posture of praise. In other words, regardless of what's going on in the world. Regardless of the Bible, regardless of where we are in life, there should never be a time where we do not praise God. Because somebody said, if we don't do nothing else, he done done more than enough. Come on. Is there anybody here realize that God been good to you? God kept you? He kept your mind? We should always be open up to reverence God through praise. And I want to tell somebody this morning that God wants your praise. Come on, come on. You may be under pressure, but God wants your praise. And I know you're under pressure, but praise him anyhow. Praise him while your heart is heavy. Praise him. And let me tell you something, sisters and brothers. Circumstances should never dictate our spiritual condition. Because we are, let me say it again, y'all missed that. I need, I, I believe, I need to say this again. I said circumstance should never dictate our spiritual condition. 
because it does not change that God is good. He's good when I'm up, y'all ain't talking. He's good when I'm down. He's good when I'm high. He's good when I'm low. He's good when I'm working. He's good when the job is, y'all ain't gonna talk to me. He's good if I got a stimulus, and he's good if I don't get that. God, I hope I don't jump off this truck, y'all hear? I say, God is just good. Come on, anybody know he's good? I said, God is just good. And can I prophesy to you this morning that the best is yet to come? Okay. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. I feel prophetic more. Come on. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet, baby. Y'all ain't seen. I wish I could. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Amen. You have not seen your best day. Your latter is going to be greater than your former. And somebody shout, my best is yet to come. My best is, is yet to come. My best. And listen, sisters and brothers, why are you waiting under pressure? Let me tell you a few things that are going to bless you this morning. God does not always, God help me, answer our prayers by fixing our situation. Okay, I need to teach this. He, he don't even answer our prayer by delivering us from current crisis. I'm going somewhere. But rather, he answers our prayers by giving us what we need to survive the crisis. Okay, okay, y'all say, Pastor, well, what, what, what he's giving me? He's giving you his grace. Okay, y'all okay, ain't saying that. You got his grace. Is there anybody I feel like preaching this morning? Thank God for his amazing grace. Come on, he may not answer your prayers your way to one, but he give you what you need. Come here, Paul. Paul said his grace is sufficient. Come on. And let me talk about grace this morning because everybody that's still here is, is, is letting me know you under his grace. Come on. He kept you, amen. He he allowed you to go through crisis of virus, or, or y'all ain't gonna talk, or, 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 of this virus, or, or this COVID-19, because he kept you. It wasn't that you did all of that, but it was by the grace of God. And they say sometimes, so the brother, watch this, watch this. Can I preach y'all? It's, it's, it's God's way are giving us something that we need even when we've done nothing to deserve it. I need about some real people that's watching this morning that know you you were here by the grace of God, but you understand that, amen, y'all ain't talking, you understand that you did nothing, that if the record be told, amen, none of us deserve it, because we have not done all God told us to do. I need some real people here. I need some people that understand the reason we are alive, the reason we are healed, the reason we, y'all, is because of the grace of God. Know something about his grace, y'all. He just decided to do something for us. Come on. You, you remember Paul said, I didn't even ask for grace. Watch what Paul said. Paul said, I didn't ask for grace. I asked for deliverance from something that was tormenting me and troubling me. Paul said, I had this doggone thorn in my flesh. I prayed three days, y'all here. I prayed three times a day for God to remove this thing, but God decided to allow it me to keep it just to give me something he knew I needed better. Okay, y'all here. He said, he said, God doesn't always give us what we want, but he gives us what we need. And I want to tell somebody, he giving you grace this morning. Come on. He, he giving us something, amen, greater, something he needed was his grace. He said, my grace for you is sufficient. Big mama and we were here, they'll say, by the grace of God, <laughs> we come a long way. And many of us this morning, I'm telling y'all, and we are surviving this crisis, amen. And you know why we're surviving, Pika Fafe? You know why we're here, Jessica? You know why we're here this morning, amen, amen, sitting in the car, praying to God at your home, in your living room, with your family? It's because we all were captured by the Okay, y'all missed that. Yeah, we were captured by the grace of God. I said it again. We was captured by the grace of God. 
That's why today we must thank God for all things. God help me, God help me. That's why today, while we are here, while you're in your home, God help me, this earth, we got to thank God for all things. That's why we ought to make our praise a priority. That's why I don't care what you're going through, I'm done. I don't care what you're being, I don't care what you're under, but you ought to make, God help me this morning, your praise a priority. You ought to decide this morning, God help me, to just praise God anyhow. James said, watch what James said. James said, count it all joy. And I need somebody this morning, y'all. See, if you know what I like about God, he'll try us. He said, I know y'all will pray me in the sanctuary. Somebody, y'all ain't lift their hand yet. I know you'll pray me if the church door was open. But can you count it all joy sitting in your living room? Can you count it all joy sitting in your car? Can you give God a praise? Oh, y'all ain't going to talk to me. James said, count it all joy. Watch what he said. He said, before we encounter trouble, it has to go through our Heavenly Father first. Nothing happened in our life without God signing off on it. And then watch what he said. He said, it is a command of God for us to consider joy, the county of joy. And let me tell y'all something more. God will never tell us to do anything that we cannot do. I don't know who that's from, but I want to tell somebody, God will never tell you to do something you cannot do. If he tell you to count it all joy, if he tell you to praise him under pressure, you ought to just begin to lift your hand and tell God, thank you. Can I get a witness here? There will be pressure, but you ought to give God a praise. Ain't God all right? James had counted all joy. Saying, he said, knowing this, that the train of our faith work it patient. What you mean, James? He said, God, every now and then, we take us through some storms and rain, but you still ought to praise him. In other words, James command us to put a praise on it. And I need about 50 of y'all. I need y'all sitting in your car. I need you watching behind the camera in your home and your living room to put a praise on it. Why don't you give God a praise? If you know he's been good, put a praise on it. If he woke you up this morning, put a praise on it. If he brought you, if he keeping you all day long, Thank you. 
let me tell you, saints of God, wherever you are this morning, I don't care what kind of pressure you're under, you still owe God a praise. Because God been good to us. I know we're in a pandemic. I know things are uh, changing around us. And I know that might be, we probably won't be back to as norm as we know as norm. Come on, somebody. But God still deserves a praise. Come on. I say God still deserve a praise. I, come on. I, I, God is, is still deserve us to put a praise on it. Because all of us here got something to thank God for. All of us. And I want to. I want to know who you are this morning. I want to pray for you. But I also want to offer you Christ. I want to offer you salvation. Because uh, you can't make it. Listen at me good, y'all. You can't make it in this season without God. Okay, I, I need to talk to them that are watching and, and you in the park. You, you, that's no way. Listen at me, y'all. There's no way you can make it without God. That's no way. No, no, listen. You can't make it in this season without the Lord. You're going to need the Lord because the Lord is the only one that holds the answer. The city, the state, the community, the president, the, uh, the attorney, uh, the, 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 the surgeon general, Dr. Fowler, they don't have an answer. Scientists, science don't have an answer. But there isn't God, come on, who's able, who got all answers. And if you give him your life today, listen, what I like about God, you can accept him anywhere. You don't have to be in a church house. You don't have to be called. You can accept him in your house. Matter of fact, you can accept him sitting in your car right now. The Bible says that if you believe, according to Romans, amen, accept him as your Savior. Believe that he died and he got up the Lord and you confess that he lived. The Bible said, thou shalt be saved. Accept him, believe, and confess that he died, he was buried, and he got up on a Sunday morning. And you can be saved. Listen, I don't know who you are, but you can accept salvation right now. You can be saved because you're going to need him. God help me right there. You're going to need the Lord. There used to be a song that we sang years ago. It said, ever, if we ever needed the Lord before, we sure do need him now. Come on, if we ever needed the Lord before, we sure do need him now. We need him now, He's able, y'all. He's able. He's able. He's able. Lift your hand right where Father God right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you. Lift your hand right where you are. Lord, I thank you for being a way maker. I thank you for your salvation. I thank you. My God, I thank you. God, we accept you. We believe. We confess that you live. We confess that you die. And we confess that you're coming back again. God, take us right now. Use us in your sky. God, continue to cover our very life. Continue, God, to plead us. Continue to, to share your blood that you died on carry. Continue, God, to know, my God, to let us know that we can't make it without you. And we today, God, we're going to praise you anyhow. We thank you for allowing us to just come out this morning. God, some people couldn't come out. There are many laying in the hospital on ventilator. There are some people sick in their home. There are some people, but God, you save us, God. We'll survive this morning. Not because we've been so good, but we'll survive because you've been good to us. And we thank you this morning. God, we thank you. Have your way. Bless us right now. In the name of Jesus, God, we decree and declare in the name of Jesus that we are saved, we are healed, and we are delivered. And we promise you, God, today and every day of our life, we're going to put a praise on it. We're going to praise you. We're going to bless you at all times. Praise is going to continue to come out of our mouth. And we give you the praise, honor, and the glory in Jesus' name. Somebody begin to bless God. I'm done. Come on, somebody begin to bless God. Somebody begin to say hallelujah. Come on, he's able.
excited what God is doing. Listen, we out of the norm. We sitting on the parking lot on top of the truck. People sitting in their car praising God. You in your home couldn't get out, but you praising God. Put a praise on. You have to praise God under pressure, or you continue to praise Him. And listen, we're looking forward to seeing you on the Wednesday. You know, I want to say to you, my sister, brother, all is well. God bless you and God keep you. Come on.